Brule up, brule up. Step this way and take your seat, please. The show is about to begin. Music, maestro, please. Introducing, without further ado, that little locomotive with his color so blue. All aboard, if you please, for Brit Allcroft, Thomas the Tank Engine, and friends. Hold tight, everyone, and take a ride on your favorite railway line. Here he comes. With Thomas the Tank Engine and all his wonderful friends. My branch line is the pride of the line. No engines ever felt prouder than those on the Fat Controller's Railway. And now, for fun and good fortune, there's one place to be. Down on Four Ways Farm. That's the place, as you will see. You never know what the animals will get up to on Four Ways Farm. But with Voltaire the wise weathercock there to help them, it's bound to be interesting and fun. For exciting escapades of the most daring kind, there's a very special place that you will find. North, south, east or west, the wind in the willows is the place that's best. Badger, Ratty and Mole know all too well that the peace and quiet of the riverbank never lasts. Not when that impossible toad has a mind for mischief. <laughs> there will never be anyone quite like that animal. <laughs> they seek him here, they seek him there. Make no mistake, there's magic in the air. With Sooty and Co. Things never go according to plan at Sooty and Co. And matters aren't helped when Sweep, Sue and little cousin Scampy get involved. Hope is all right. Repeat after me, it's fun to learn our ABC. With numbers and colours you can't go wrong. So here's the teddy bear sing-along. Take two helpful teddy bears, Max and Mims. Add all your favourite nursery rhymes, and now you've got the ingredients to learn everything, from the alphabet to counting and colours. To enjoy and learn, if you are able, from the Ragdoll Children's Video Label. For adventures are plenty and much, much more, with Rosie and Jim. Let's see what's in store. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and There's so much to learn about and lots to enjoy when you jump on board the beautiful ragdoll boat. <laughs> along with Rosie and Jim. The world drifts by the window frame. Now, start your engines and off we go with a little motor car that we all know. He may be small, but fun is his game. He's here for you, and Bram is his name. How can one small car get into such big adventures? A little magic goes a long way, especially when your name is Brum. We hope you enjoyed our little show. Call again anytime. We'll be raring to go. All these wonderful videos are available from VCI, where learning is fun for everyone. of rubbish down to the dustbin in a moment, but before I do, uh, excuse me. Sweep! Can you come here for a moment, please? Now! Mm -hmm. Look, never mind the hellos. I want to have a word with you. 
Can you just say hello to that lot first? No, oh, go on then. I think I'll join you. Hello. Hello there. Hello, everybody. Hello. Ah, uh, sweet, sweet. That's enough of that, because I want to talk to you about this rubbish. Yes, rubbish! I've just spent two hours tidying this cupboard out, and I want you and Sooty to deal with all the rubbish which is left over. But what do you mean this isn't rubbish? Of course it's rubbish! Look, bits of old building bricks, marbles, old pen scraps of paper, it all needs throwing out. I've already filled two sacks full, and I'm taking them down to the dustbin. I expect you to do the same. Well, what are you doing, Sweep? Sweep! What do you mean it isn't rubbish? It is rubbish! Look, leave that stuff alone, Sweep! Oh, for goodness sake, Sweep! Oh, it's always the same! I'd better go and have a word with Matthew. So it seems that Sue's having a bit of a spring clean, sorting out the rubbish. And it seems that Sweep isn't exactly helping. Not so sooty, though. He's got a load of old toys and things just lined up and ready to be thrown out. Er, uh, why are you throwing all this stuff away, Sooty? asks little cousin Scampy. Because it's rubbish, says Sooty. Look, this old bucket here has got holes in it. These pens have gone dry. These paper clips have all got joined together. These books are full. And we've lost the handle for the feather duster. It's all rubbish. No, it's not, says little cousin Scampy. Look, this watering can will make an excellent drum kit, and we can use the old pens as drumsticks. Listen. You're right, says Sooty. Well, we won't throw those things away. And you can't throw the paper clips out either, says Scampy. They would make a terrific chain for you to pull me along on my skateboard. And as for the bucket, Kneel down. You've heard of King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. Well, this bucket will make an excellent helmet so we can play at being knights. And we could use the paper from the books to make paper darts with. Good thinking, Scampy, says Sooty. Um, but what about this old feather duster here? Surely this is rubbish. But Scampy has different ideas. It's always the same, Matthew. I try my best, and goodness knows I do try. I mean, I work my paws to the bone for you lot. Not that I expect any thanks. <laughs> that would be a fine thing. Oh, no, forget thanks. Anyway, I'm too busy for thanks. It's do this, Sue, do that, Sue. And the incredible thing is that Muggins here does it. Not because I want to do it. Oh, oh no. I've got better things to do than go running around after you lot, picking up your dirty socks and moving your empty coffee cups. Well, I've got some news for you, and that is that I'm not your slave. I mean, you lot obviously don't mind living in a pigsty, but I do, which is why I do my best to keep the place looking decent for you. You? Uh, Not that any of you ever uh, notice. Oh, no, you're all far too important to notice. You don't seem to think that the boring things in life just happen. You never stop to think that someone's actually doing it. So what do you have to say about that, huh? What would you say, Matthew? Matthew! What? Oh, exactly, yes, exactly right, sir. I'm on your side, absolutely. Oh, yeah. never mind. I'm complaining that no one ever throws anything out in this house. We don't live in a junk shop, you know. Uh, well, Sue, I hate to slow the flow, but actually we do. I mean, we do live in a junk shop and we do sell junk. Oh, stop being so clever, Matthew. You know what I mean. We're supposed to be selling it, not keeping it. Look, I've just tried to get Sweet to throw a load of old junk out and he's actually collecting more. Will you have a word with him, please? Yeah, 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 I'll talk to him. Yeah, yeah, no, right. I mean it, Matthew. I mean, it's no good me getting cross and then you not backing me up. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to him, I'll talk to him. I'll... Are you listening to what I'm saying, Matthew? Yes, yes, of course I'm listening to what you're saying, Sue. Oh, oh, I've got it! What? I've got 13 across. Constant complaining. Wittering! Oh. <laughs> Wittering! Look at that. I've got it. Oh, hello, Scampy. What do you want? What's the matter with Sue? She's just got a bee in her bonnet about people throwing rubbish out. I hope that you and Sooty have thrown all that rubbish out in the loft, have you? Have you? What? There wasn't any rubbish. Of course there was rubbish! I mean, what about that old broken feather duster up there? That's rubbish. I mean, what can you possibly do with an old broken feather duster? Yeah. Hey, look at that. Big Chief. Give me a high five, Chief. High five. <laughs> 
Oh, no one ever listens to me. Well, go ahead. If you want to live in a pigsty, carry on. Hey, 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 don't have a go at me, Sue. I mean, these three may not be very good at throwing things out, but do not tar me with the same brush. Why not? You're just as bad as they are. I beg your pardon, I am not. Of course you are, Matthew. You're a hoarder, a collector of rubbish. Sue, mm? it is not me that collects rubbish. It's you that talks rubbish. Mm. I mean, look, just name me one thing. One thing that I have got that is rubbish. Go on. I challenge... What? What about my cassette collection? <gasps> my cassette collection? What do you mean, this... this priceless collection of tapes? I have got a couple of early Kylie Minogue's and a classic Gary Glitter tape here. But your cassette player's broken. I know that, Sue, which is why I have moved on to... <gasps> CDs! <laughs> what? I haven't got a CD player. Whose side are you on, Big Chief Sitting Bull? I'm going to get a CD player one day. Yes, but until you do, all those things are rubbish. What? And there's more rubbish in the shop. There isn't. There is. There isn't. There is. There isn't. There is. Come on, I'll show you. All right. All right, all right. Come on then, Miss Smarty Pants. Come on, name me one thing that's here in Sooty and Co that is rubbish. <coughs> Take that off. Come on. Well, what, pray, is this? That? Mm. Oh, well, you see, that is my old cassette player, Sue. Without that, I couldn't play my priceless collection of cassettes. Mm -hmm. I do like Gary Glitter, don't you? But, Matthew, it doesn't work. There are no insides in it. I know that, Sue. That's why my cassettes are in such good condition. Mm. Because I hardly ever get to play them. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I hardly ever get to... All right, enough, enough. Let's get serious. Come on, Sue, name me something else. Just point something else out that is rubbish here in Sooty & Co. Go on. Would you mind emptying this sack out, then? No, not at all. Let's have a look. There. Now, go well, on. what's that? But that is off cuts of wood, Sue. I bought a load from a man yesterday. Hmm. Well, as they say, I rest my case, Your Honour. Bags and bags of rubbish. What? How dare you? I mean, how dare she? Well, if there's millions of uses for off cuts of wood. What? Name you three. What do you, what do you mean, name you three? We're going to do better than that. We are going to discover some uses for these offcuts of wood. Now, look, I want you each to take an equal amount. That's for you, Scampi. For you, Sweep. Now, Sooty, I want you to go to your bedroom, OK? Uh, Sweep, you can use the dining room. Scampi, you can use the loft. And I'll go into the backyard. Now, I've got a whistle in here somewhere. When I blow the whistle, we each have one minute to make something useful out of the wood. It's a bit like Krypton Factor, isn't it? Ready? Let's go. Come on, come on. I bet it's a load of rubbish. And so here we have our little teddy bear from Manchester trying to score maximum points on this leg of the competition. It's making an interesting start. It's having a few problems with that triangle, though. And here's our canine contestant, also from Manchester. He seems to be doing very well. He's ignoring the two-dimensional flat approach and going for the vertical elevation. Ah, now here's an interesting approach. Well, there's nothing to say that he can't use tools, so that's good thinking from little cousin Scampy who originally hails from London, but moved up north with his family quite recently. Time, of course, is of the essence. The contestants have just one minute to make something useful from their bits of wood. And I'm afraid that this contestant doesn't seem to be doing very well at all. Oh! Well, I must say that losing your temper is not the way forward. And that's it. The end of the round. Ha <laughs> ha, all right then. My brains of Britain, my mastermind, my Crichton Factor champions. Show me what you've made. Prove to me that these silly bits of wood have any use whatsoever. All right, we will, we will, Sue. And don't be so cynical. Just you wait till you see what we've made. You're soon going to change your mind about what's rubbish and what isn't. Go on, Sue, bring up what you've made. Just wait until you see this, Sue. Oh, look at that. That is amazing. That is fantastic. Uh, what is it? A matchbox holder? Is it? Oh, yes, look. 
Look at that! You can just see a little matchbox just popping out there. That is very clever. It's useful, isn't it, Sue? Fantastic. Hmm? Hey, come on, sweet. What have you made? What, what have you made? Let's have a look. See where you. Oh, <laughs> a bone holder. Look at that little bone sticking out there. Now that's useful, isn't it, Sue? Oh, hmm? saints preserve us. Yeah, come, come on, Scampy. Now don't let us down. So she's made the matchbox holder. Sweep's made a bone holder. What have you made? Come on, let's see. What? Brilliant. What is it? Hmm? What is it? A bone holder holder? <coughs> what do you mean a bone? Let's have a look, see what... Oh, look at that! It's a bone holder holder! <laughs> that, that is useful, isn't it, Sue? Hmm? Oh, <laughs> good is not the word to describe it, I Matthew. agree, I agree. So come on, come on, let's see how you've managed to turn a few scraps of wood into a useful object. What, me? Mm. Um, well, actually, I, 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 I sort of run out of time, so I didn't actually make an object, but what, what, what I did make was... Uh, a modern work of art! <laughs> Look at that! Uh, what do you think, Sue? Rubbish! They're all rubbish! Rubbish? Yes! Rubbish? Yes! Rubbish? Yes! She's right, boys. They are rubbish. Go on, take them where they belong, to the tip. You win, Sue. <sighs> You know, there's an old saying that goes, when you find yourself in a hole, stop digging. Which means that when it comes down to it, we all have to confess that Sue's right. Those bits of wood are fit for nothing but the rubbish tip. The thing is, says Sooty to Sweep, it's an awful long way to drive to the tip, isn't it? Sweep has to agree. Which is why, says Sooty, I have a plan. If we throw the wood into the stream, says Sooty, the stream will carry it under the bridge just like playing poo sticks. Then it'll go down into the river, then right out to sea. That way it won't bother anybody. OK, says Sweep, let's do it. Hello, Sweet. I think you dropped these things in the water by mistake, so I've brought them back for you. I'll put them in your trailer. Be more careful with them next time or you'll lose them. So here they are with the wood back on board. But Sooty has yet another idea. Let's just sling the stuff here, says Sooty. We can't do that, says Sweet. That'll be like throwing litter. No, it won't, says Sooty. We're in a wood, and we're throwing wood. It's the same. There's already loads of branches and things on the ground. What difference would a little bit more wood make? So they decide to give the wood the old heave-ho. <laughs> Well, that was a waste of time, says Sooty. We might as well have been throwing boomerangs. Every single time we threw something, that dozy dog brought it straight back. Well, I thought it was a very clever dog, says Sweep. Huh. Well, you are a dog, so you would, says Sooty. Still, now there's only one thing for it. 
What's that? Sweet wants to know. The tip. Well, here we are, says Sooty. And do you know something? Sue was right. These things are rubbish. Let's sling them. In fact, I can't imagine how anyone could think of one single useful thing to do with any of this stuff. It's just a load of rubbish. Yes, I know, Sooty, I know. Sometimes it's very hard to admit that you were wrong and somebody else was right. But in this case, we've just got to admit it. I mean, Sue is right. That stuff was rubbish. Mm. And it's ended up in the right place at the tip. Cooey! On your meat, Mo Frank Markey. Oh, hello, Mo. Uh, Mo, I hope you haven't come in here hoping to buy any rubbish because we are fresh out of rubbish, aren't we? Nay, mm. nay, I've not come to buy now. I have come to sell you some it. Really? Hey, now, Luke. What? What are these? These? Well, uh, I'm not too sure. What? So she says, are they toothpicks? Correct. What a shrewd little bear you are. Mm. Now, there are 200 toothpicks here, right? Yes. Cost one pound. Mm. Yes. So for five pounds, you could buy 1,000 toothpicks, right? Yes, yes, yes. Well, I am in the position to offer to you for the same price as you would pay for 1,000 toothpicks. That's five pounds, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Not 1,000, but one million. Mm? One million toothpicks for five pounds? Mm. Listen, don't go shouting about it. Why? I'm doing you special, cos I know you. And listen, listen, you haven't heard the best bit yet. Not only is this product of the highest quality, yes. but also it has novelty value. <laughs> Shh! Novelty value sweep. You see, these here toothpicks are do-it-yourself toothpicks. None of your factory-produced stuff. No, <laughs> these are all handcrafted individually. Just, just a minute. Let me just get this straight. You mean you are going to sell us one million DIY toothpicks for five pounds? Shh, four pound fifty, my best offer. Four pound fifty? Four quid and don't tell no one. Right, what do you think, boys? Yes? <coughs> OK. <coughs> Mo, you are on. Cop for that lot. And four pounds. you cop for this lot. What? I'm afraid you'll have to supply your own knife. Oh, God, you wouldn't believe some of the things that people throw on the tip these days. There you are, love. One million do-it-yourself toothpicks. But, but, Carve them yourself. Happy whittling. But, 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 no! Oh, 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 oh no! Hm. Fancy falling for that. <laughs> One million DIY toothpicks. <laughs> Did we buy a load of rubbish? Uh, if you'll permit me, Matthew, I'll answer that in one word. <laughs> yes. Hmm. <laughs> Will you tell her or shall I? Tell me what? Well, actually, Sue, you may have been right about most things today, but mm -hmm. not about the toothpicks, because we did, in fact, find a very good use for the DIY toothpicks, didn't we, boys? Mm. What, what possible use could you find for a load of old scrap wood from the rubbish tip? Well, I'll give you a clue. Mm. Sweep, mm -hmm. throw another couple of thousand toothpicks on the fire, would you please? Mm -hmm. Silly me, firewood. <laughs> yes. Well done, Matthew. <laughs> I tell you what, let's all say goodbye and then I'll read you a nice story. So, uh, bye, bye, bye bye, everybody. everybody. Bye bye. bye, bye. <laughs> and this story is called Woodland Tales. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> our old friend Sweep. Hello, Sweep. He seems to be searching for something. Um, 
What are you looking for, Sweep? <laughs> oh, he's looking for his bone. <laughs> well, look no further, Sweep, because here's Sooty and he's got your bone. <laughs> there you are. What are friends for? Friends like Sooty, who needs enemies? He's playing a trick on poor old Sweep with the help of some elastic. And here's someone else who's about to have a trick played on him. It's little cousin Scampy doing his art homework. Now, where's that red paint? Ah, ah there it is. you, says Sooty, with a simple piece of elastic. Sooty asks Scampy if he'd like to see another trick he's about to play using elastic. Scampy says, yes. Come on then, says Sooty. Follow me. There we are. Lots of lovely warm water and soapy suds. Mmm. Well, a panda needs pampering from time to time. And I must say, it's nice to have a bit of time to myself without those three boys playing silly tricks on me all the time. I'll just shut the door. There. Oh, well, goodness me, look at that. The wind's blown it open again. I'll just close it again. Hello, what's going on here? How strange. This is silly. I'll just have a look and see what... Aha, what's this? Elastic stopping the door from staying shut. Shh, shh, what's that noise? It sounds like someone giggling. No, oh, yes, I might have known that you two would have something to do with it. This is typical, this is playing silly tricks on people and then giggling like a pair of babies. Come on, come out of there, you two, come on. Now, why don't you grow up a bit? Be more like Matthew. Now, he's a serious, responsible, grown-up. And the foot soldiers are in deep trouble now because the big artillery is on its way. Yes, Big Bertha is here. Kaboom! Excellent. Oh, hello. Oh, you must excuse me. I don't normally play silly games like this. Uh, normally, I am a serious, responsible grown-up. It's just that I was looking in the drawer of my uh, belt and I found this, elastic, you see. And it reminded me that when I was little, we used to play with elastic and with pellets like this, firing at soldiers like that. It was good fun, really it was. Anyway, I didn't find my belt. But don't worry, because I did find something else in the drawer to keep my trousers up. And actually, they're made of elastic as well. It's clever stuff, elastic. Can you guess what they are? I think you guessed it. <laughs> Braces. <laughs> Yes, it's clever stuff, Elastic, which is more than can be said about Sweep. He's about to fall for another trick that Sooty and Scampy are about to play on him using Elastic. <laughs> How does the jacket look? asks Sweep. It looks excellent, says Sooty. Just your colour, says Scampy. I think I'll go and show it to Matthew, says Sweep. Good idea, says Sooty. He's in his bedroom. Why don't you go and show him right now? <coughs> OK, says Sweep. <coughs> I will. And with that, Sweep leaves the room. <coughs> Only to return a moment later. <coughs> I thought you were going to see Matthew, says Sooty. <coughs> I was, says Sweep. I'll try again. <coughs> <coughs> ah! 
I can't seem to leave, says Sweep. But I'm not going to give up. And Sweep tries his best to get out of the room. Why don't you try leaving by that door, says Sooty. Good idea, says Sweep. And he tries it. joke. I don't think. Fancy tying elastic to the door so I couldn't close it. Well, it's off now, so maybe I can have my bath. What? What's this? More elastic? Hmm. Attached to the ceiling at one end. I wonder what it's attached to at the other end. <coughs> oh, oh, ah, ah, oh, oh, oh. Sweep! What do you know about a spider on a piece of elastic? I said, what do you know about a spider on a piece of elastic? Sweep, will you come and stand here while I'm talking to you? I know that Sooty and Scampy tied the door open with elastic, but I want to know who put that spider there. It wasn't you. Sweep, will you come back here? Listen, I hope you're telling the truth, because if you're... Come here, Sweep. Sweep, I hope you're telling the truth, Sweep. Because sweep! Here! I hope you are telling the truth, Sweep. Look! Will you come here, you dozy dog? What is the matter with you? You don't know? You feel an irresistible urge to leave? Well, you can't leave. I haven't finished with you. Will you please stand up straight? That's better. Now... <laughs> oh, dogs! <laughs> Kaboom! And another soldier slips to a watery grave. Well, actually, it's a milky grave. Excuse me. Sorry about this. Look at this. Breakfast time. There's nobody here except me. It's always the same, Good you know. Good morning, Matthew. Oh, hello, Sue. What kept you? Well, I've been having a lot of trouble with elastic. Yeah, so is he, actually. Mm. <laughs> Where's Sweet? I just saw him on the landing, Matthew. I say, he's behaving very strangely today. Really? Mm. And what about uh, Sooty and Scampy? Where are they? Well, last time I saw them, they were busy playing silly games with silly elastic. Yeah, so they're, they're behaving normally, are they? Yes. Mind you, don't blame the elastic, because it's Elastic is very clever stuff, you know, Sue. I mean, no, 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 don't, don't pull that. Don't pull, let it go, let it go. Oh, 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 oh. oh hello. What's the matter? Well, I'm having a lot of trouble with elastic as it happens. Which elastic? Well, this elastic, the sort of elastic that... No, 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 don't pull it, go! Look, oh, look, 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 oh, I think we've oh, all had quite oh, enough trouble with elastic for oh, one day. Hmm? Do you think we could just get on with our breakfast? Yes, a good idea, a good... Hang on a minute, there's a, no sign of sweet. We can't start breakfast without him. Where is he? He's struggling to get here. What, what, what's holding him back? Oh, what, oh, here he is. Right. Right, now that you're here, Sweep, perhaps we can get breakfast started, can we? By the way, it's a, it's a very nice jacket. Where did you get it? What, what happened? I what? don't know, Matthew. He kept doing that upstairs. You're joking. Well, sweep, come back. You must have slipped. Are you all right? Yeah, well, hang on a minute. Look, ha have my cereal. Have my cereal. There we are. And now, perhaps, we can uh, start breakfast, can we? Let's have a sweep! Would you stop doing that, please? Just stand still, OK? Don't move. You're stretching my patience. That's not all he's stretching. I don't understand. Anyway, can we please start breakfast? And once we do get breakfast... No! 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 no. And Sooty and Scampy tied the elastic over the jacket like that sweep so that you couldn't see it, and that's what kept pulling you backwards. You felt an irresistible urge to leave. Well, I'm not surprised with this lot pulling at you, but they were only playing a joke sweep with elastic. Just like they played on Sue, you know, upstairs in the bathroom with the door that wouldn't close, the spider they kept coming out of the linen basket. Someone should play a joke on them. Well, you're right, actually. I'll tell you what, Sweep. You know, normally, I don't let you take anything out of the shop without you paying for it. Is that right? Yeah. Well, today is different because I've had this, this delivery and it is elastic. Now, if you were to borrow this, providing you put it back, 
without me noticing, I wouldn't know anything had happened, would I? Understand? <coughs> oh, sweet. What I mean is that you could use the elastic to play a trick on Sooty and Scampy. Yes? <coughs> yes, yes. <coughs> right, well, look, um, I'm popping in here just to see Sue's holiday photographs. I'll leave that with you and I'll wish you uh, good luck, sweet. <coughs> OK, good luck. <coughs> Some people may say that I take too many photographs of the same thing, but I do think it's so important to have a good, comprehensive record, don't you, Matthew? What? What? OK, oh, yeah, oh, yes. Oh, Sue, these, these photographs, they're fascinating. I mean, really. Really? Oh, well, If you're yes. really keen, I could get the slide projector out. Or better still, there's the video of the brass rubbing expedition to King's Lynn in 1993. Sue, that would be super. Oh! Oh, listen, oh, listen to that. What a shame. What a terrible shame. I'm going to have to leave you, Sue. I mean, just when you're enjoying yourself, it's always the same, but business calls. Could we only be more from Marcus? Ah, oh, hello, Mo. Hello, have you come to make me rich, have you? Oh, well, you never know your luck, Matt, because if you've got what I want, I've got what you want. <gasps> oh, money. Right, well, Mo. Just have a glance around the shop. Is there anything that you uh, fancy? <laughs> <gasps> yes. What? Braces. What? Oh, I love a man in braces. Oh. Braces say something about a man. Oh. They say I'll support you. Oh. I'll never let you go. Well, I wish you'd let me go. Oh, oh, oh. oh I don't oh. know what happened. Something oh. came over me. Oh. Something just snapped. That was my braces. Oh. Never mind. I should be getting used to it by now. <laughs> so, Mo, what do you want to buy? Well, I'm going to our Tracy Dawn's wedding next week, Lovely so girl. I'm looking for a hat and a wedding present. Well, uh, I can't really help you with a hat, but we do have some... Oh, just a minute, just a minute, don't go away. Look, look at this, a hat. Oh, it's a beauty as well. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yes. So subtle. Yes. Oh, so cute. Yes. So me. Yes. <laughs> I think I might have cracked it. If it fits, I'll buy it. I made a sale. <laughs> try it on, try it on. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yes. yes. <laughs> oh, oh no. no. What happened? It must have been the wind. That's what it was. Should that we try the wind. again? It's a bit drafty in here. I'm sorry. To I've got on. some lovely shoes that'll go with yes, this. I know. You got mock me, didn't you? Let's <laughs> You must get that draft fixed, you know. Need an excluder. Perhaps we'll try, try it a different Try it on again. Try, try it. Different just, just try, try walking. walk it. Have, have <laughs> Luke! It's obvious that hat doesn't like me. Yes. So if it doesn't like me, I don't like it. Let's move on to the present. Good shall idea. We? Yes, yes, good now, idea. Now, Matthew, I think that wedding presents should be given a lot of thought. Yes. I mean, you're buying something that will last someone the rest of their lives. Yes, yes, yes. You can't rush decisions like that, can no, you? No, 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 no. No. I totally agree, Mo. How much for them vases? 25 quid. I'll take them. Right, if you'd like to bring them across here, I'll get them wrapped up for madam. You know, I'm sure our Tracy Dawn will love these because she likes cooking. <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh, well, what do you think? Smashing. Hey, I'll go to the foot of our stairs. Yes, and I'm going to go straight up our stairs because I know who's responsible for this sweep. Oh, I want to have a word with senior. you, young man. Where are you? <laughs> You're only trying to play a trick on Sooty. Mm. Yes, I realise that, Sweep. Mm. And actually, I'm responsible. I should have been supervising mm. you. But anyway, listen, mm. I hardly think that tying elastic to a hat and two vases is going to cause Sooty any trouble, is it? <laughs> what about the elastic lasso? Mm. What elastic lasso? <laughs> the one in the dining room? Mm. Well, I never saw an elastic... <laughs> Sooty! Sooty! Oh, what is it? What? Oh, 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 look at this! Well, I've heard of bouncy castles before, but never bouncy teddy bears. Oh, get him down, please. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right, Sue. Yeah, let's let's cut you down, Sooty. <laughs> How do you like it, eh? I mean, you've been playing tricks with elastic on people all day. Yeah, it's good stuff, elastic, isn't it? Oh, all the blood's rushing to his head. It's all right, Sue. It's all right. I'll put him Dear. down there. All right, Sooty, take the elastic off your ankles. Yeah, you didn't like that, did you, eh? Oh, you didn't like not that. Not surprised. I don't expect you 
like it if someone dangled you by a piece of elastic from your ankles and then bounced you up and down. Uh, uh, hey, 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 Sue, oh. don't have a go at me. I'm just giving sort of a taste of his own medicine. In any case, I wouldn't mind being hung by my ankles by elastic and jumping. It'd be only like making a bungee jump, wouldn't it? Mm. <laughs> it's totally okay. Mm. Uh, yeah, it's all right. He's just getting the elastic mm. off his ankles. Hey, that was a mm. very good joke, the elastic mm. lasso. Very good. Yes, very but good. an even better joke is that big, brave Matthew here says he wouldn't mind making a bungee jump. <laughs> uh, well, just hang on a minute. What's, what's funny about that? Oh, hello, Sooty. Hi, Scampy. Go on, then. Uh, what's so funny about me making a bungee jump, then? Well, nothing other than the fact that you wouldn't dare. What? <laughs> me not dare? You must be joking. Of course I would. Well, I don't believe you. Well, you believe me, don't you, boys? <laughs> you must be kidding. Well, of course I dare. <laughs> I'll tell you something else as well. If... If there was one nearby, mm -hmm. a bungee jump, that is, I would prove it. It wouldn't well, frighten me at all. It's interesting that you should say that, Matthew, mm -hmm. because they've right. just set one up in Heaton Park. Come on, Matthew! <laughs> you said you could do it! You said you weren't afraid! Now, put your money where your mouth is and jump! Why do I have to open my big mouth? What? Am I afraid? Me? Me? Afraid of a little jump? Oh, do me a favour. Of course I'm not. How far up are we? 50 metres? 50 metres? Mm. Oh. <laughs> what is it exactly that stops me, uh, you know, hitting the ground? What? Not, not that I'm very... Bo What's this? Oh, the cord! The cord! That's what's it... What's, what's it made of? Elastic. Elastic?! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Suchi, I, um... I can't do it. No, 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 no. It's not, not, not that I'm afraid, because, because I'm not. It's just that, uh... uh I, I'm worried about you. I mean, uh, how will you get down if I'm not here? Oh! He says he can get down on his own. I wonder what he means by that. No! Sooty! Sooty! God! He's done it! That little bear has done a bungee jump! What? What? And the only thing that stops me from becoming a much shorter, fatter Matthew is a piece of elastic. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm not going to do it. It's cancelled. Where's the button for getting down? Where's the button? It's there. Whoa! One thing to say, and that is bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, ah! oh.
Oh, hello there. Hey, something very exciting is happening today, isn't it, Sooty? <laughs> what, sweet? What is it? What? <laughs> you're excited? Yes, I know you're excited. Now, just settle down. Just settle down. Go on, off you go. Where were we? Oh, yes, yes, the fact is that we're all going away for the weekend. The whole lot of us. We're going to visit Uncle Dennis and Auntie Beryl down south in Dorking. <laughs> Wait, what, sweet? What, what is it? Yes, yes, I know you're excited. You've told us now. Just settle down. Go on, just settle down. Off you go. He's been like that for two days. Mind you, it is very exciting, isn't it? Because for the entire weekend, Sooty and Co will be closed. <laughs> He's excited. There. That's just about it. Don't want to take too much. We're only there for the weekend. Uh, listen. It's no good you two standing there gawping at me like that. I'm not going to do your packing for you. If you want something to go in the case, then you'll jolly well have to do it yourselves. <coughs> Don't tell me, Sweep. You're excited. You're excited. Yes, yes, we all know that, Sweep. But I recommend that you put excitement to one side for a moment. Concentrate on packing. <coughs> well, just a cotton-picking minute there. I hope you're not thinking that you're going to put that lot into this suitcase, are you? On top of all my pretty dresses. Well, you've got another thing coming. You can jolly well get your own suitcases and pack them elsewhere. <coughs> what sweep? <coughs> He's excited. Do you know something? I'm excited. Well, I mean, I'm not as excited as sweep, of course, but I am excited. I think it's packing that does it, because when you're packing the suitcase, that means that you're actually going. You know, I really enjoy packing suitcases. I know some people don't, but I really do, because I do it all very, very neatly, fold the clothes very, very carefully, and use lots and lots of tissue paper. And the result? A beautifully packed suitcase. Voila. You... Oh. So whilst I'm upstairs dealing with my suitcase, Sooty is downstairs dealing with his. Mm -hmm. Sweep's there as well, mm -hmm. and Sweep is still very excited. <laughs> See what I mean? He's excited. Well, Sue told Sooty that he had to get his own case, which is what he's done. And being a magical bear, it seems that he's got a magical suitcase. Just watch, and you'll see what I mean. Job well done. <coughs> huh. It doesn't seem possible that he could get all that stuff into that one case, does it? <coughs> You'd think the case would burst open and everything would just come spilling out, wouldn't it? <coughs> and you'd be right. <coughs> Scampy, meanwhile, is packing his suitcase. Instead of packing a selection of clothes for the weekend, he's decided to pack a selection of white mice. The thing is, the mice don't seem as keen on the idea of a weekend away as the rest of us, do they? Ah, here's Sweep doing his packing. Sweep is still very excited. Thank you. Sweep carefully puts his clothes in his suitcase. Well done, Sweep. That's a very neat job. What? What is it? Oh! Gotten his bone. He can't go away for a weekend without his favourite bone. Uh oh, sweep. Um, that case isn't going to close now. That bone is too big. Something will have to be left behind. That's my boy. Three, two, one. It's time for the off. I thought this moment would never arrive, but it has. 
Anyway, I have closed the shop, I've locked it up, put the closed sign in the window, and now I've got this milk bottle with a little message in for the milkman. No milk for the weekend. And so it's a case of bye-bye business. See you again after the weekend. Bye-bye. And so, how are we all feeling? We're excited. <laughs> yes, I bet you are. Anyway, have you all got everything? Because once we leave, we are not returning. So have you all got your suitcases? Well, we have, Matthew, but where's yours? No! <laughs> oh! oh! Typical of me, that fancy for getting my suitcase. Do you know something? I'd forget my head if it was loose. One suitcase. Got the suitcase. Here we go. Right. And now that we have all got our suitcases, let's leave, shall we? <laughs> don't, 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 don't tell me. You're excited, yes? No? Well, why, why are you moving around like that? What's the matter? You, you want to go to the toilet? Can't you wait? Right, well, come on, come on, down, get down, get down, come on. Come along, come on, heel, heel, heel. God, don't, don't be long, sweet, OK? We're trying to set off, all right? There's always one, isn't there? Ah! What? Have you checked that the gas is turned off? Gas? Good thought. Come on, gas. Better check that the gas... We haven't got any gas, we're all electric. Sue, we're all electric. Anyway, we simply must set off now. Because if we don't get going, we shan't get there at all. But so no, 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 no buts. No but ifs. Listen, we are leaving. We're leaving now. Suitcases. Go, 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 go. Come on, we've got a long way to go. And Scampi, would you just shut the gate on the way out, please? Thank you. the pen is just dropped. Sweep has just realised what's happened. They've gone off and left him. Sweep is home alone. It's no good. The door's definitely locked. He could be here all weekend. Sweep wonders what will happen when they discover he's missing. In his mind's eye, he pictures them being very upset. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, the poor little dog left on his own. How could we do such a thing? I never forgive myself. Every time I think of that sweet little face, I burst into tears. Or possibly, they won't discover he's missing. Is there, uh, is there something missing, Sooty? Nothing you can think of. It's curious, but I'm sure there's something's missing, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Or possibly they left him here on purpose. 
<laughs> We've got rid of the last! Hooray! Nice move, Matthew! You know, I never could stand! Not the good eye! It's horrible! <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> this is ridiculous, <laughs> thinks Sweep. I've seen films where people have been left home alone. It won't be long before someone comes to my rescue. But until someone does come to rescue him, Sweep decides to have a little snack. Mm. And since I'm not there to keep an eye on him, he can eat whatever he likes. Mm. And he likes <laughs> jelly babies, crisps, mm. sausages, mm -hmm. chocolate, mm -hmm. beans, mm. and cream buns. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, Sweep has a dreadful thought. What would I say if I were there with him? Uh, 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 naughty, naughty, Sweep. You shouldn't be eating all those things. You'll make yourself poorly. And if you do, don't come running to me because I'll just say, I told you so. Uh, uh, Matthew, oh. I hate to spoil your boring parent impression, but Sweep doesn't need to hear this. Well, yes, he does, Sue. It's for his own good. I mean, if he eats all of that, there'll be tears before bedtime. All right, Captain Cliché, I didn't mean it like that. What I mean is that since we're both figments of Sweep's imagination, if he doesn't like what he's hearing, he can stop it. If he stops thinking about us, then we'll simply go away. <coughs> yes, yes, really. <coughs> Two hours have passed. It's got dark and it seems that Sweep has survived tea and now he's playing with Sooty's water pistol. He wonders if Sooty would allow him to use his water pistol if he were here. Hmm, no. Just as I thought, Sooty would not want him to play with the water pistol. Sweep wonders what Scampy would feel if he were here. Would he think it was okay for Sweep to play with the water pistol? Oh, apparently he would think it was okay. Surprise, surprise. Just for the fun of it, Sweep wonders what would happen if Scampy had Sooty's water pistol and Sooty didn't. <laughs> nice shooting, Scampy. Sweep wonders where all the water went. You know, it's fascinating the things you can do with your imagination. <gasps> Gosh, what's that? Thinks Sweep. Well, it could always be a burglar, couldn't it, Sweep? <laughs> Scampy, don't knock any more dustbins over. Poor Sweep, it could be terrified. He probably thinks there's a burglar here. Sue, have you got the shop key? Quick, quick, no, quick, quick, quick. No, I haven't got it. You what? put it in your pocket, Matthew. I saw you. Did I? Oh, I can't find it now, Sue. I do hope that Sweep's all right. Don't worry, it'll be absolutely fine, Sue. He's probably made himself a bit of tea and had a bath and watched a bit of telly. He's probably tucked up in bed by now, which is where I'd like to be. But look, look Sooty, I can't find this key. Uh, if I get the ladder, will you climb up it? Yes? OK, it's a deal. I'll get the ladder. I'll get the ladder. It's only over here. Oh, it's just such, such a heavy ladder. Right, I'll... Uh, do you know, it was, we got all the... Uh, we, we, uh, we got all the way to Birmingham before we realised that we hadn't got him. It's probably when I went inside to check the gas. Sooty, where are you? <laughs> Don't creep up on people like that. I'll hold the ladder. You climb up it, OK? <sighs> what a day it's been. A bit higher. OK, keep, keep going. There's a, there's a good boy. Sooty, don't look down. Keep, keep going. My bedroom window is open about six inches. It should be easy to get in. Well, I'm right about one thing. Sweep does think he's being burgled, but he's seen films where things like this happen and he knows exactly what to do. Whoa, whoa, what's up? What the... Sooty Teddy! Whoa! Uh, whoa, I can't! Hold! Hold! Sooty, Sooty, where are you? Oh, there you are. Thank you. Uh, are you all right? Oh, thank goodness the rubbish broke his fall. You OK? But how are we going to get in, Matthew? I know. Shall I shout? No, shh, oh. don't do that. You'll disturb the neighbours. You know what they're like? We need, we need something to uh, throw up at the window to attract Sweep's attention. We could... Uh, little building bricks. Good boy, Scampy. Get out of the dustbin, quickly. Leave this to me. Leave it to me. You know, once Sweep gets something into his head, it's awfully difficult to shift it. And Sweep has got it into his head that there's a burglar out there throwing things at the window. 
so he decides to dampen the burglar's spirit. Look! Look at the state of me! Just look at me, I'm soaking wet! Look, look, never mind about you, Matthew. What? Poor old Sweet must be terrified. Why don't you shout up to him? No, 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 I told you about the neighbours. Oh. Just a minute. Mm -hmm. There's a spare key just inside the letterbox. Stay here, I'll deal with it. I just remembered, spare key. I'll leave it here for security purposes. Just inside here. Mm -hmm. <coughs> well, I was right. I knew there was a key hanging behind the letterbox. Mm -hmm. What I didn't know was a sweep was there with a large pot of blue paint. Can you feel the key, Matthew? No, no I can't, Sue, but my hand feels strangely wet. Yes, well, it's probably the water running down your arm. Yes, you're right, Sue, yes, you're right. A... Oh, hang on, hang on. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Look at this. I finally located the bit of string. feeling pretty pleased with himself. Single-handedly, he seems to have fought off a dangerous burglar. He wonders what I would say to him. Oh, you are a clever boy, Sweep. I'm so proud of you. Who's a clever, clever boy? That paint was brilliant. It's not as good as the net. What net? What do you mean, Arcee? Oi, oi, wait for me. Look at the stage of me. I'm soaking wet and I'm covered in blue paint. Well, I think it's a lovely shade, don't you, boys? Yes, well, in that case, you're going to see two more lovely shades when I find Sweep black and blue. Now, just calm down, Matthew. Sweep was only guarding the property. Yes, well, I hope he can guard himself because he's going to need it when I find him. Sweep, where are you? I'm going to have a word with you, my lad. You're in deep trouble. Come on, where are you? You're not going to escape me. Are you in the drawer? Help! Get me down! Take, get me out of this Certainly net! Certainly not, Matthew. What? Not until you've calmed down anyway. I'm going to make some supper for us four, and by that time, maybe you'll have stopped ranting and raving. I think you're a very clever little dog sweep. And because you're so clever, you can have whatever you like for supper. So what's it to be? What? Jelly babies? Crisps? Sausages? Chocolate beans and cream buns. Well, why did you ask me? Coming right up. Yes, sweep. Oh, he's excited. Bless him. Oh, Matthew, what, whilst the... we're having supper, what? do me a favour. What? Say goodbye to everyone. Oh, all right. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. So don't leave without me, please. I mean, get me down. Don't eat all the food. We could be there by midnight. Please let me down.